Today we're counting down the hardest men in the GAA. These are the very best of the lads who eat their porridge and take no prisoners. The hardest of the hardy bastards. Hi, I'm Shane Cahill from Balls.ie. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button. And if you notice any players that you think that we should have included on this list, let us know in the comments, preferably without tagging any jilted hard men. Do stick around till the end of the video where we'll reveal the current county player that we think could be challenging these legends for a place in this list someday. But for now, let's get on with it. Here's the seven hardest men in the GAA. Number seven, Paddy O'Shea. A legend of mythic proportions. The eight-time All-Ireland winner was also famously fit. According to his nephew, Tomas O'Shea, he trained with Kerry on a Tuesday and a Thursday and then run over a mountain on a Monday and a Wednesday. Those mountain wild men are a different breed. Number six, Tommy Walsh. The word swashbuckling could have been invented to describe the man jokingly called the Bell Tommy by punch drunk opponents. Walsh's toughness revealed itself when he was struck by Benny Dunn in the 2009 final. In true hard man style, he got to his feet and walked away without uttering a word of complaint. Number five, Colm Coyle. Referee Pat McEnany had made up his mind after the infamous 1996 All-Ireland final brawl. He was gonna have to send two players off, one from each team, Meade's John McDermott and Mayo's Liam McHale. And then one of his umpires, Francie McMahon, came over and uttered the immortal words. Pat, you're gonna have to send off Colm Coyle. He's after dropping about six of them. Number four, Brian Lowen. Dennis Walsh records that Gerlach Nan used to speak with the giddy joy of a proud father about the poison in Brian Lowen and his hatred for any forward that came near him. With 20 minutes left in the 1995 All-Ireland Final, the Clare physio signaled to Loch Nan that Lowen had torn a hamstring and would have to go off. Tell him he's not coming off, was Loch Nan's response to the physiotherapist's advice. Loch Nan said afterwards, when you talk about mental toughness, what Lowen did in the All-Ireland was out of this world. He was willing to go through the pain barrier because the team needed him to do so. Number three, Francie Bellew. The purest bet noir. Bellew is the name most frequently cited by outraged Southerners when they decided to go on a rant about Ulster football. Bellew was a key figure in the 2002 All-Ireland Final, keeping the scrawny teenager Colm Cooper, who ran riot in the first half, quiet for the duration of the second period. A cross Midland player, he naturally won bucket loads of medals at club level. Notoriously, he knocked Mickey Linden's front teeth out in the 2004 Ulster Club Final, escaped without a red card and cross Midland went on to win an incident which purists regards as the ultimate triumph of evil over good. Number two, Mick Lyons and most of the Mead 1987-88 team. A byword for hardness. Very few teams are as secretly loved by other counties as the Mead side of the 1980s. Whenever old time GAA pundits talk about manliness these days, you know they're talking about the square jawed, rootless hardness, the uncomplaining machoism of that Mead team. Most of them were hard bastards. But the hardest of all the hard men was Mick Lyons, the ultimate cult hero who during the 1990 final took a box in the face, felt his jaw for a couple of seconds and walked away from the incident. Number one, Dermot O'Sullivan, the kind of fullback a cartoonist could have invented, an iconic Cork figure, number one on every list of GAA hard men. We suspect many players and fullbacks have been bequeathed the nickname The Rock at club level down the years, but at national level there is only one. Corner forwards just bounced off his shoulders. So that concludes our list. As a bonus for sticking around to the end, I can now reveal the current county player that we think could one day be challenging these legends for a place on the list. And that player is Paddy Marr. Paddy Marr's championship appearance record is remarkable. Between 2009 and 2019, the Thurlis Sarsfields man started every championship game for tip. 54 in all, missing just 26 minutes of action. Thanks a million for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads more videos right here on YouTube. Here's one that we think you might enjoy. But for all the latest sports news, head over to balls.ie.